Hi, I'm George Rising. I'm a math teacher in the Kenai Peninsula Borough School District, and um, this lesson was all about uh, a data collection and analysis and modeling project or module for my pre-calculus students. So I've been working on this, had some really good feedback from one of my co or peer teachers here. Um, but, uh, and, and again, I'm starting to lay this out. This is going to get rolled out here later in the semester, but I've unfortunately had to shift gears for a moment in order to uh, deal with a kind of a Canvas issue. And what this issue involves is old quizzes and migrating to new quizzes. And unfortunately, what's happened is when students take a quiz that has to have something manually graded, it doesn't inform me that I have to grade it. So now I'm, I have to go back and I've been removing these free response questions from quizzes because again, we want to give students feedback immediately, like auto grading things. But again, from a student experience point of view, it's frustrating when the teacher isn't grading your work because they don't know that something's been turned in and it's partial. So I've had to tack on this project and I will get back to it. But what I've done was I want to incorporate better student reflection on what students are learning within a module. So this has been my opportunity to quickly implement that. As I remove these free response questions or turn them into new assignments, I've been adding um, reflections at the end of each module. And so this is, here we go, module one reflection. Um, You'll notice this format looks really familiar. It's what we've been doing in this Canvas course, share with your peers. Now I've changed it a bit to meet with the student's need. And again, I'm requiring that in order to complete the module and move on to the next one, they have to reflect on these four bullet points, skills developed, something that's challenging, how could you apply this in the real world, and then any questions you have left moving forward. That's part one. Part two then, of course, is responding to a peer. And so again, I have a student here who did a really nice uh, thorough response. He's kind of ahead of the curve. So as more students complete the module, he'll have to go back and reply to a meaningful post. So uh, classroom teachers have to adapt to what's going on in their, in their world to best meet students' needs. I feel like building in this reflection piece um, is meeting the needs of students. They get to reflect on what they're doing, why they're doing it. Um, and then it's helping me provide students with feedback as well, or a place to. Um, and it, it kind of fills a hole in these courses anyways. So for now, that's what I've got. I will continue to build that other module as time permits.